Hi, this is Tasneem again. So if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell button. And if you like my videos, please, please, please give a thumbs up and you can also comment down below. So, in previous video, we've learned about uh, some options um, from the insert tab, right? So we have we have seen some option like pictures, how to how to add video sounds, um, how to add some object or text word, uh, word or text box, date and time, etc. So today I'm going to show you how can we add different different tables in in our slides. So let's start it. So uh, if you want to um, represent some data in in table style in in, in uh, column we can uh, like you, you want to place some columns some rows and and put your data in, in in a tabular form then you can use the table okay so to design a table you have to go to the insert tab again and at, at the left most corner you can find the table option so click here you will find some cells like this so you can choose you can choose so like uh, there are three column and there are so there are three columns so i have chosen one two three 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 from the top and like there are four rows so one two three four four rows including one header so i'm going to choose another one okay so my table is ready so there are also some different styles of table like there are different, different style you can customize your table like this so you can choose any style you want okay there are different styles okay so the first row is actually for the table header okay so you can place your table header Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram. Okay, so you can put your put your data here. So you, you can put actually different different data according to you accordingly according to your topic or the data you need need need. I, I'm not going to filling it up. So uh, in this way you can draw table. So uh, here are some other options like you can also draw table. So here is another option called draw table. So you can simply draw your table using this option. So there are first column option last column option so you can you can customize your like you can customize your uh table like this like you you want to um you want to highlight your first column then you can tick here then your first column will be highlighted if you <coughs> uh, represent as the table header or sub header then you you can highlight your last column you can highlight your total row header row so you can if you uncheck this one the the header will be gone and rendered rows the light gray will be gone if you uncheck this okay the banded rows okay so there are many more options actually uh, so there are another option called insert table you can you can customize your table also the number of columns like we want four column and the number of number of rows you can have 10 rows so here so you can you, you can have you can customize your table also in this way so if you want to delete any table just select the table and play, press the delete button from your keyboard okay so i'm going to delete this one also sorry click it and delete it so now so i want to delete this one so click here and press the delete button so now there is another option named the excel spreadsheet 
you can also do some excel calculation here and you can you can do some uh, make some table uh, table for calculation on different kinds of calculation so for this one you can select the excel spreadsheet so this is it is easy to calculate in excel excel sheet so then you can uh, you can see this tiny dialog box and this one is cell a1 so here uh, if you <clears throat> click any cell you can see the name of the cell here this is the name box and this is the formula box okay this one is the formula box this one is the name box these two will appear when you, whenever you click insert table and select the spreadsheet table but table option okay so now this one is b1 like in, in the name box the name has been changed this one is a2 so there are multiple different different column and cells here so like I, i'm going to put some values here here i'm going to put one uh, here i'm going to put four here i'm going to put five here eight so there are more options so here i'm going to put eight and to write six okay so if you want to do some calculation like you want to sum sum uh, this column you want to sum this column the value of this column 1 5 and 8 so a1 a2 and a3 you want to sum these three columns so what you can do so and you want to show the result in the fourth column uh, fourth uh, fourth row first column okay so then in which cell you want to show the result click the cell see the name has been changed in the name box then click here the uh, in the formula box the formula will be activated now then you can find an uh, option here auto sum click here and you can find different different operation okay so i am i want to do summation so i am going to do uh, check the sum option so i have to select all of this I'm going to select till the row till the cell I want to show the result okay so then auto sum sum see in the last cell last blank cell your result has been updated always you what you have to do you have to choose a blank cell uh, after, uh, after uh, where your result will be shown okay there is another way to do summation like uh, in this cell you want to see the result of these three this is so tiny actually these three value four eight and six so select this cell and click here the formula bo formula box <laughs> write is equals to s u m sum then from where to where you want to sum uh, i want to sum from the cell b1 so if you don't know the name of the sum just click here it will automatically place the name of the cell here and then place a semicolon the semicolon represents i want to uh, sum from this one to this semicolon and then select the box you want to calculate till so i want to calculate from b1 to b3 so this semicolon means i want to calculate from b1 to b3 if, if you put comma here that represents i want to just uh, sum b1 and b3 okay then press enter you will find your result here the b4 okay the result is 80 so in this way you can actually do calculation like see uh, here is a table appears with the with our result and function okay or the results so in this way you can do calculation and there, there are different different more calculation there are average like here you can find there is average count numbers you can count numbers how many cells are there 
like if, if you have 100 cells so you can you can just select all the cells and uh, and press here and you can show how many cells are there okay then there is max minimum uh, so the maximum numbers from this cell or this column from from this cell to this cell it can be a total column or it can be a part of a column it can be a total row or it can be a part of a row so you can do your operation accordingly okay so, okay so there are some other option like uh, you can insert insert sheet you, you can insert new sheet you can insert cell you can insert rows you can insert columns you can also delete delete cell rows column so from this this option you can do insertion dele deletion and you can also format your cells and column like height weight you can also format this and even you can so sort out your information like i have write to one so you'll see details whenever we'll work for the excel sheet for okay, zero so i want to sort this column from small to smaller value to higher value so i'm going to click here from here to here so i'm going to i, I want to sort this value so so here is the option like sort and filter click here short smallest to largest if you want to sort from small number to the largest number you can click here it will represent the uh, result from smaller to the larger value so see one two so oh, so i i didn't see like this so this was not sorted so one two four this three value is sorted now so if i also select this one and sort again largest to smallest see four two one zero okay so in this way in this way you can do uh, insert any kind of table and graphs so that's all from today's video uh hope you can understand so if you find my video helpful please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell button and if you like my videos please give, give a thumbs up and you can also comment down below so that's all from today